kill these two as they go over. Kill them. Nice! Oh, God! Well, today's the day. Today's the day that I've been waiting for for a very long time. It's been a long summer. It's been a long, long off season already, boys. And let me tell you, other than, you know, watching my beautiful face on the channel, you know, there's only one thing that will entertain a waterfowl hunter in the off season. We got a huge pigeon feed, boys. I mean, huge. Me and Trace found this one. It's one of them deals where it's a limited number of people that can go. All my guys, you know, Preston, Ross, all you fellas, I really wish that y'all could come, but, you know, there's only room for the farmer, his buddies, and then a couple others. We should put down a number of birds. The only thing that I'm worried about is that we got an overnight storm last night, and I hope it didn't mess the fly line and the time of these pigeons up. I hope it didn't mess their fly up and their feed. So, that's our one thing that we're kind of debating on, is hopefully that the storm didn't just uh, completely interrupt the situation. But I don't think it should. It's been an afternoon deal every day. They're not feeding in the mornings, which tells us that the storm should not. It shouldn't mess with them. They should still feed in the afternoon. But real quick, we got some of the paracord items left. We have some lanyards left in stock. So if you guys are looking for a lanyard to throw the old call on, a new one, a pretty one, a shiny one, I will link these down in the description below. Go check them out. But I'm gonna quit blabbing. I got a bunch of stuff to load up. We're gonna be using duck mojos, pigeon full bodies, flock of flickers. If you don't know what those are, those are little spinner things that you use for duck hunting that sit on the ground or in the pond that float. Literally all the above. You, you can use anything for pigeon. So I'm about to show you guys. Let's get on the road. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna quit jabbering. Let's go. You guys know how excited I am. Doesn't get any better than this one. I'm telling you right now. Yep. That's the old lazy man way of hunting here. Look at old Trace. What are you doing over there? Killing. Killing. Well, we're out here with Trace and you know he brings a trailer full of pigeon decoys. Goodness. Finally, you guys know I've been wanting to get out here forever. Trace, we've been both of us have been scouting our butts off. Got on the old head mount. This is what I'm going to be having to rock you guys on a lot today because Bob is going to be shooting a bunch. We've had one wad do it on us already. Um, I wish we would have been here a lot earlier. Uh, it rained last night, so we thought it was really going to shut them down. So we waited, uh, waited till about 7:30, and I came out here, and they were already piling on. So we got set up about 9:30. Uh, they stay out here all day. We will be here literally all day shooting pitch, but. Sit on the fence line. Look at old Wade. No care in the world. Got the old extension tubes on. We're ready to go. There's only four of us right now. There's supposed to be like eight of us. I don't know what happened to the other half, but they're missing out already. Oh boy. Got about 50. Getting ready to bomb on us. Oh. Oh jeez. They're coming back around. Oh man. <laughs> that was beautiful. We didn't pull the trigger because I'm pretty sure it was just too beautiful. I'll call I'm for someone now to say shoot him. I'll show you. I was being the good guy. Me, Trace. I'm just trying to get some footing for the boys. That's it. I'm calling it. Oh my, look at this. Here they come, boys. Get ready to light them up. What did we drop? Five? <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. I don't think it gets much better than that. Goodness gracious. Man, they just float in right over the road, right behind us and go, whee! 
That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, we pulled the trigger same, almost exact same time. When we were younger, we were hunting with duck leash. Oh, look at the white one. Get whitey. Take him. Yeah. Woo! Whitey is dead. This is an old feral bird. Old feral bird? Oh, he's cool looking though. Yeah, he is. Pretty, pretty. Huh. That's how they're supposed to do it right there. That was nice. Four pack just came in and gave it up. This morning we missed out on a lot of, a lot, a lot of shooting. In the mornings it just hasn't been busy. And uh, this morning, 7.30, man, they were all here. There were thousands. So uh, we're going to wait it out throughout the day. We're going to wait for the uh, afternoon hunt to really fire back up. So. Oh, oh damn boys are dead. That one ought to be dead. Man, they did not want to get down at all, did they? One of them? Yeah. Nice. We had one above. Oh, here's one racing in here. There we go. Now we're firing up, boys. Here he comes right here. Drop him, boys. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's the way they're supposed to do it. Just had a double, single, single. Yeah, boys. Well, there's only three of us now. Only three of us. We're going to see how big of a pile we can make. We're the only eight. Yeah, oh, it's too hot out here for all the other delicate fellas. And I'm a ginger. Yeah, and he's a ginger. He's light skinned. Ooh, what did we drop? Four? Yeah, just dropped four. That's the first birds after lunch. This morning was extremely slow. Got out here late. Um, we didn't know we had to be here early. That was the thing. So now we went and had some Mickey D's, had some lunch. They're starting to show back up to the field. It's going to get cranking. I have a feeling. Oh yeah, we got a two. We got a, we got a two singles. Top birds of blue bar. See, Trace knows these birds like the back of his dang hand. They didn't like it either. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, there's a full whitey there again. Don't lose them. Ready? Ready? Yep. There's that white one still flying. Woo, that was fun. I aimed at the odd one that was deep in there. I aimed at the red one. Did you see it at the white? Yeah, that was way deep in there. Whew, that was a big volley. They did it pretty good. What did we drop out of there like, I don't know, probably seven, eight? So Trace here, literally he raises pigeons. So he knows, a lot of you know Trace. A lot of you just haven't seen Trace in forever. We haven't been doing much together. It's been a boring while. summer. Yeah. Right. So he's going to tell you about homers and some pidge. Flat forehead. I mean, you could put a ruler on it. If you want straight line look at the difference oh yeah you tell yep so you mean straight line on the top of the head it's yep, not lumped as much right here gotcha the forehead's flat aerodynamic homer and then you look at a ferrule and they're rounded gotcha so that's the main that's the main justification being able to tell is just the shape of the head Look at, that. Look at that pretty whitey. I, whenever he come in, Goodness. It, how he was just coming in, I could, I could see it. God, he purdy. He got hit. Yeah, he got hit. Uh, he got hit a couple times. Oh, water that boy. Oh, dusted. The chonies right off of him, dude. The Woo! No more chone chones on your butt, boy. That boy dead. That boy is dead. Ready, go. <laughs> Smoke him. 
That one about landed on you. <laughs> yeah. Landed about six foot away from you. I looked up and I was like, oh, dude, right above us. Hunter left to go look at the other side of the field. Got a four pack doing it, five pack. I'm by myself. Let's see how, see how good we can do if we can get him down here. Yeah. Two down. Come on, three. See if we can get you all by myself. Well, I dropped two. Yeah, buddy. They did it too. Here come the three. Come on, come on, come on. Come over the top. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, he's dead. Woo! Boom! There's three down. Sorry I got you guys on the GoPro the whole time, but old Bob has to squeeze the trigger here. This is too much fun. There's three doing it. Oh my God, I could not shoot that. Dude, that was so close. Birds, we're not, can't, we're not blinded up at all. We're not in a blind. So it is uh, it's a little rough getting them close like this here. Yep, yep. Dude, feathered and all. How, how didn't that one go down? Ready? go nice shot you got you watered this one up right in front of me kill him that's hard to call that when do you call that shot look dude we were landing them forever that was awesome would we drop a couple i didn't drop any i dropped one over here Kill these two that go over. Kill them. Nice! Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, well, talk about having pigeon at your feet. Wow. That was awesome. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Go. Woo! Three of them. I got two ambers right here and there. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. This is really ramping up. Oh, let's spray into that wad. Ready? Yep. What did we drop? A couple? Those wad, here comes three. Wads like that, you just got to spray. That's all I did. <laughs> Uh, right between the mojos, <laughs> right between the mojos. Let him swoop. Go. Dropped one. I ran out of shells. Oh, I can't re I can't load fast enough. Here they are. Get it. Go. Dropped one, two. Jay, many. They came back twice. This is too much fun. If you have never pigeon hunted, you're missing out. Oh, one peeling off. Oh, he likes it a lot. Ready? Yeah. Nice. Oh, there we go. He was going fast. I had to get in front of him about a foot and it did it. There we go. There we go. Look at them feathers are flying. If we get the two down. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh God, whoa, <laughs> about took my head off. Oh yeah, look at these two giving it up. Oh my. Shoot them. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm gonna make it if I stay low. That didn't work, buddy. Oh, we got a group coming, boys. Let them get down. Go. Jiminy, did we even hit any? That's hard, dude. Right there, a lot of you guys are gonna go, oh my God, you missed them all. Oh, here they come back. It's hard.
God, what do you do? Here's too many options. Woo, we are back at the house as you can tell. It is humid. We got some storms of brewing it looks like because of all this humidity. But yeah, it's literally just a soggy bottom day if you know what I mean. If you guys like that pigeon hunt, drop me a huge thumbs up right now. It helps me so much because I know what you guys are liking and what you're not liking. But I cut the video shy, didn't end it in the field, wanted to end it here at home and talk to you guys. We ended up killing 60 birds and a lot of times I'm not going to show a lot of pile picks anymore because honestly YouTube doesn't like it. The more dead birds and piles I show, the more my channel gets messed with. A lot of my subscribers know and a lot of you viewers know that here on YouTube hunting is frowned upon pretty, pretty badly. So the pile picks and showing dead birds a lot just isn't a thing on YouTube. They don't like it. Videos get demonetized in a hurry. So long story short, we killed 60 birds. It was a great hunt. We ended up losing everybody. There was only two of us for the last two hours of the day, which was the best part of the day as you guys seen. But if we would have had four to five, seven people all day long, which I thought we were going to have, we would have ended up killing probably 200 birds. But if you guys have any questions about pigeon hunting, or you want me to do any videos, any how-tos over pigeon hunting or duck hunting related, let me know down below. And I want to show you guys, there's only a couple more days left. All of our Freedom America apparel is on sale through the 4th of July. Make sure you go pick something up and support your boy here at the channel so I can keep making these hunting videos for you guys to sit back in the AC and enjoy during these dog days of summer. But thank you for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.